guys, I'm here with a new editing tutorial, and this time it's going to be bumps on your montages and edits using the pan and crop tool. So, I have this clip of CSGO and a song, and I'm trying to go over this quick because it's pretty simple. So, first of all, you want to line up the kill with the drop, so like... Yeah. Now you want to put markers where you want to put the bumps. So right here on the audio proxy, you can see where the little bumps are or where they should be. So you can put a marker by pressing M and then move over to the next one, like right about there. And then next one's like right about here. So you have three markers for your bumps. Now you want to click on the clip and go to video event pan crop. And okay. So now you want to put create keyframes. You want to put keyframes wherever these are. So one, two, three. So three. And how to do the effect is you go to your first keyframe, go one or two behind it, and make another keyframe. And you want this to be the original size. And this is the part where it zooms in. So you want to hold this, make sure uh, this lock aspect ratio is on, and just slide it in quite a bit. And then right before the next one you want to put another keyframe and then restore and then right here zoom in again same thing restore zoom in and then another keyframe restore so it looks like this <laughs> Yeah, there's another one like right here and also you want to make sure sync cursor is always on so where you know whenever you click it goes to that place in the clip so you want to click on the fourth marker and it'll go there so you have the keyframe there one behind it restore this keyframe slide in and then go a little far away another keyframe and restore so it'll look like this that looked really bad <laughs> hold up yeah so it'll look something like that and it is pretty easy and also what you can do with the drop is create a new video track and put it your cursor right where the drop is so right here on the second one and then go to your new video track that you created and generate a media solid color add okay this is just a small thing that can help and you just want to make the clip a bit smaller than it is already opacity down and click on this and fade it out and you can change all types of fades like this but the best one for these are the yeah okay so that'll work and <laughs> you can click on this control c click on this marker control v okay four another one one another one make this one smaller so it'll look like this with the bumps yeah and it goes good together so yeah that's pretty much it on this effect and I just want to go through it quickly it's pretty basic pretty easy and uh, leave in comments what new effect I should be trying to show you guys so yeah I'll put the finished version in the beginning of the video, and peace out.